They gotta start hanging around you Cause I found a new way Put yourself in my shoe But this ain't a move, Even when I fell doom I ain't never lose faith We call ourselves city, but we global And everybody that has a voice Is allowed to be vocal did about three months juvenile detention and they let me out on house arrest. Did about four months, you know what I'm saying? After that, they're going to put me on probation again. You know what I'm saying? Been on probation to this day. Might get off this year. You know yeah. I'm lucky. I see it a lot now. They target a lot. They target artists a lot. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Because they talk about a lot of shit in their music. You know what I'm saying? And if you from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Or wherever you from, you know what I'm saying? And stuff is going on. And them police know you, you know what I'm saying? And they know what your people be about and what you be about, you know what I'm saying? And they own your ass. Yeah. They can't get you for no other shit. They don't get you for a music video or whatever. Bag of weed, you know what I'm saying? A dime, a roach, at like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gon' fuck with you. If you from Boynton, where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm gonna put it. You stand out, you stick out in Boynton, though. Of course. So they definitely on your ass. Everybody know me in Boynton, man. You know what I'm saying? I was known in Boynton before I was known anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Even though they don't even show love to the music how they post to. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. I think we waiting all night. Do you think that has to do anything on your part as far as uh, putting that music out? You say what? Is, it, is there anything on your part that you feel like you could do better and to get people to listen to it more or you yeah, just feel I like it's, they just don't tap in? Because yeah, I, I know they I tap in. Stay there, out too. in the streets more, stay in the studio more, promote more. You know what I'm saying? Be in tune more. But you know what I'm saying? That's why I got Ado and Row Rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. OGs. You know what I'm saying? So they get my hair right. You know what I'm saying? I got a good shoulder looking over me. That's all I got to say. So shit finna get going in 2021. We butted up till March already. You know what I'm saying? Already done knocked out about two, three shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Said. About Made three, three thousand off already. features, all and shows already. Twenty twenty one. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's still January and shit. Still January. Still about to be February. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We doing good, man. Just know that. Yeah, you about ready to have a good year. And I was about, I was about to say with the kind kind of year you had last year, which wasn't even an easy year for you. You already. You already made a whole lot of numbers last year. Yeah, 2019, really. You know what I'm saying? That's when yeah. shit went popping off again. So. Yeah. But you were still buzzing. Okay. Yeah, trust me. You, you were still buzzing last yeah, year. Yeah, shit was still going, though. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. And we're going to move 2021, though. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, already. Minus setback for a major comeback, man. That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's like on. you said. You got to stay. You got to stay. You got to stay in the studio. And off oh, the streets, no. you know I what I'm saying? I be in the studio. No, I know that. See, I be trying to stay away from the hood as much as possible. I tell them boys all the time. I, be, I just did a show at the office. I'm telling them boys, bro, I'm trying to leave at 7 o'clock, go to Miami. The show at 1030, but anything liable to happen, bro, you sitting on the block. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Post it. We could go to the store, go get a rap, see a nigga we don't like. You know what I'm saying? Getting the shoot out. It's whatever, bro. You see what I'm saying? When you in the hood. You know what I'm saying? So try to get out of that, man, as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? If you can. That's what I be trying to do. What you, you know think what stopping you? What's, what's stopping that from happening? <clears throat> like, what you mean what's stopping it from happening? From you just getting getting up out of there? You know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready to take no bullshit deal. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready to ride no dick for no fame. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be there a little longer. Yeah. You feel me? No, I hear that. What about in, are there any alternatives to that? Like being able to move move out from where you from uh, yeah, I'm before that try deal. Yeah, I'm gonna do that soon. You know what I'm saying? Get out of that man in a couple months or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I get out of that next month, I will. It's coming soon though. That's the last thing. That's that's the that's the shit I don't want to see, bro. Especially like, yeah, the legends always die young, bro. <laughs> Gucci Gucci Black man, you see, see like, I you got 18. wise though from you know? everything that done happened to me. You see what I'm saying? Going to jail young, getting shot young. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All that shit opened up my eye because some niggas get shot, go to jail, don't ever come out. You see what I'm saying? Don't yeah. ever get to prosper from it. You know what I'm saying? So me, I just got wise from everything. I'm 18, but it's like I'm 35 now. 
So I'm going to live a little longer to see what I got to see. Yeah, get them man. millions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sky's the ceiling. Sky's the limit. I said the sky the ceiling. Same nah, thing. Sky the sky's limit. the limit. You know what I'm For real. Not even, uh, bro. For real. So what we getting up next? I mean, uh, we have... Uh, you have the, you had you had a tape in 2019. Uh, yeah, I drop a tape every year, every year, though. every year, yeah, every year. You know, I just dropped "Still Starving" two, the second part. Yeah, "Still Starving," which you I dropped, dropped in 2017, 17, 18, whatever. Yeah, it was 18. I dropped that on December 25th, 2020. Young inside to try this. Year. I don't got no set date on it, but that's coming out. What is it? You know what I'm saying still, uh, Young inside the trap. Okay, you know what I'm saying the first, first part of that. And then I got Neighborhood Rockstar 2 coming out. You draw you know Youngest Singer. Youngest, uh, what is it? Youngest uh, Out the Trap. Yeah, Youngest Out the Trap. That's the one you fun to drop. Yeah. Then Neighborhood Rockstar 2 after that. You think you had Youngest Young, you had Sinner. What is it, Young Yeah, sin- Life of a Young Life Sinner. Life of a Young Sinner. Yeah. I think that was, yeah. The second part of that coming. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Soon too. Just be on your the tapes do your tapes do well though. Yeah, they do numbers. It's, it's different. That's a different thing than most people. Like most people, they struggle with their tapes. So that's why it's a singles game now. But you don't got that problem. <clears throat> why you think that is? Like your tapes because they do really want to hear more of me. They don't hear enough. I so when that. that 12, 15 part tape come out, you know what I'm saying? They like, damn. Yeah, you know yeah. I'm gonna play this bitch out because I know Gucci ain't dropping anything live, but happen. Yeah. He might go to jail. He might not drop. You know what I'm saying? He might be under the radar for that couple months, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We might never hear from him. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. let's play this shit out. That's why people really, you know what I'm saying, gravitate gravitate to a motor. That makes sense. That makes sense, man. Okay. What about like the shows? You had some shows recently. You were talking about yeah, shows. Yeah, I did about what two, you did? three shows. What, what, what was that with those? Performed at the office in Miami, you know what I'm saying? Early, early in this month. Performed at the Glow in the Dark party. What else we had? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we got, we booked March, February 12th or 13th, and then we booked March 23rd, 27th. Late February and then Chelsea. Okay, late February, we got a show coming late up next Park. month. And the Kelsey Theater in Lake Park, you know what I'm saying, in March. You know what I'm saying? We're going to need more. We're going to need more Gucci Black shows. Yeah, we going down. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We booked out one, you know what I'm saying, one show a month right now, but it's going to be three, four soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be butted up. So, you niggas and promoters that's playing, you know what I'm saying, not fucking with a nigga, be ready because price is going up soon. Yeah. You need, a whole, you need a whole tour. Get your shows, man. You need a whole tour. 750 for 16, 1,000 for a show. Book me right now. Because soon it's going to be 510. You know what I'm saying? Don't grab me no shirt, man. Ain't no corner store? Right, man. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. I don't think so. This downtown, bro. I think the only thing we got. Downtown right now? I don't yes. even know where we at. Oh, I be, yeah, I be, <laughs> we ain't in Boynton right now. Oh, no. Nah, I, 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 I know you be everywhere. I know you be everywhere. Yeah, I don't but, even know where we at right now. <laughs> right you know. see what I'm saying? You probably, just, you probably just drunk, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't drunk. <laughs> bitch, I'm on beat. But listen, I don't know where we at. <laughs> I got Them you. boys just handle that. Man, I just be in the passenger side with my little tuka. My chill, little black, man. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's the life. That's how you're going to be living. You only the life of a boss. I think that's why you remind me of uh, of Gucci uh, of Gucci Mane, man. He a boss, man. You know what I'm saying? I can see you just being a boss. Bosses man. remind you of bosses. You, know what I'm saying? you yeah. see me, you see Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Because me, I'm gonna get there. I ain't there right now, but it's coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. For real. Only 18, man. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but time to get wise. Get what them boys at. Them boys about what 50. Yeah. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I got billions, but shit, I got plenty of time. You know what I'm saying? Why was the the root of your influence in Boy? How did that all start? What you mean? Like how, you, how your come up started in Boy? How did everybody start to know, like, you know, 16-year-old Gucci, Gucci, oh, Gucci yeah, Black? Because like you, you was making headlines. Nine-year-old Gucci Black at that. Niggas know me because of my OG, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas like, dope, you know what I'm saying? Roll. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say no more names, but them OGs, though, boy, you niggas know. 
Yeah. You see Gucci, you know who he be around. You know what I'm saying? And them young niggas, man. Them passing rap 1G niggas, man. You heard me? Shout out to them niggas, man. You heard me? Free band, man. Free the fam. You heard me? Real shit. You grew up. You grew up. Uh, you grew up into, into that kind of situation. Would you say? Of course. You know what I'm saying. I walk outside. Nine years old. Them niggas selling dope. You know what I'm saying. Right on that. On the block. Go outside. Nigga got a hundred guns sitting right on the block. You know what I'm saying. Whatever. Yeah. Damn, big brother went to prison for some throw shit. Ten years. You know what I'm saying. I'm dead nigga. In, so it's like, you know what I'm saying. No pops. Just my mom. So I never knew my dad. But shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like everything made me smarter, you know what I'm saying? Made me grind harder at that. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't even be talking to you right now if none of that shit happened. So I'm blessed. Yeah, that's <clears> real. <throat> that's real spill. All that made you, really. Fast. It'd be, it be everywhere. That's, I always think of it like that. Like I look at stuff like everything around you really made you who you are. It molded you into the person you want to be, man. Uh, The person you're going to be in the future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 12 year old Gucci Black, the same as 18 year old Gucci Black. It's just that 18 year old Gucci Black is a little bit smarter and move a little different. Yeah. 35 year old Gucci Black gonna be the same. He might be up a couple million, a couple billion. Yeah. I just move a little smarter and shit change. You know what I'm saying? The lifestyle change, but I'm the same little nigga I was when I was 12, 18. That's how it's gonna go, man. The situation moves you into the person you're gonna be, man. 20, 30, 15, or five years from now, even a month. Yeah, man. The situation and how you handle the situation, how you handle different situations that come your way. You yeah. feel like you've 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 dealt with the situation with your hardships to the the best the best way you could have yes. every every you one of them. That's how I feel. You know what I'm I did what I can. You know what I'm saying? Or what I could at the time. You know what I'm saying? To get through what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no regrets with any of that. Like, None say, like, going to jail. Like, you yeah, ever I had, don't like, got regret. no regrets. You know what I'm saying? Every time I go to jail, okay, I was going to jail when I was younger for them little couple months, whatever. Yeah, bro, I did that shit. But this time, y'all can fuck me up for some music video because y'all can't take me to jail for nothing else. Y'all can't catch me in the car with a gun, yeah. drugs, whatever. So y'all got to go to my music video. Oh, he doing this, he doing that, and lock me up. You know what I'm saying? Slow me up of what I'm doing at the time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And knock me down. But it is what it is, man. All of it just made me harder, man. All the hardships, all the trials and tribulations, man. I just got through it. Molded me into the person I am today, man. You hear me? That's how I'm sitting here talking to you now. Bless you. Yeah. It's an honor. It's an honor on this end. It's an honor on this end, man. Your name do carry weight around. Wait, <laughs> where's where are you influential at other than than uh Palm Beach or Boynton? Niggas know me everywhere. Not, like, not even Florida. Like, is your name out there? Like, like, not even Florida. Florida. You go to Atlanta. Yeah. Well, you go to anywhere else. Niggas know. You see what I'm saying? They talk about Big Gucci. You hear me? You done any shows in Texas? No, I ain't do no shows in Texas. I might have performed in Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? A lot of other places, bro. Yeah. But you see, I don't really remember. That was when I was younger coming up. You see what I'm saying? Around where I was around. I was saying, with them little connections. So I got to get this right, too. Gucci Black, you see what I'm saying? From Boynton Beach, Florida. Not from not from Palm Beach, Be Florida. Not from, I don't know where you niggas from, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get that right. You from Boynton Beach. Boynton Beach, Florida. Yeah. The B. The folk. You know what I'm saying? To be exact. Niggas get it right, man. I feel a lot of, a lot of uh, artists we have want to put Palm Beach on. They want to say they want to they put Palm Beach nah, on, but, but you know some even. niggas really from like West Palm Beach though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying they be like Palm Beach, Palm Beach. Them niggas really from, from West Palm, Palm Beach. Beach you know what I'm saying Boynton Beach and Palm Beach County, but you know what I'm saying I'm from the city of Boynton Beach, Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying not West Palm Beach or Palm Beach or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas be whatever claiming the county, whatever. I'm trying to put my city on first, then take over the county. Mm-hmm. Then the little 30 states, whatever, and the whole America, and a couple more countries. Yeah. That's strategic. Uh, I didn't think you probably thought of it like that because, you know, sometimes it just happened. I think for you it's just going to happen, dog. I don't think it's going to be a – I don't think that that what you have in mind right there is going to be a thing. I think you're going you're gonna to blow up yeah, crazy. Yeah, it might not go how I want it to yeah. go. It's gonna just happen. You know what I'm saying? 
It's going to happen over time. It might happen tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying? You hear one of my songs going viral or yeah. some shit. Nigga doing the dance to it. You know what I'm it's going to happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it's going to happen, it's going to happen, though. I know it's coming. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is to it, man. Do you want to speak on the confusion between you and the other I Gucci know. Are you? No, I don't. I, you don't. I'm going to tell you right. I'm going to ask you right now before because I don't want to do no fuck shit. I ain't even finna get into that. I you got know you. Niggas see this face. You know what I'm saying? You see I'm this not, 22 yeah. care Larry. You know what I'm saying? You see this little nigga. You know what I'm saying? With the fade. Because when, when I hear when I hear about that situation. Boynt Beach, Florida in the building. I hear about you know that saying? situation. I'm thinking, how did that Gucci even black, happen? You see what I'm saying? Pat Surratt, 1G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hear me? Facts. It's just facts, though. Yeah, no, I hear we you. We ain't got to go into it. You know what I'm saying? Because cool. I ain't finna be giving niggas fame. You know what I'm saying? You niggas got enough fame. Use my name. <laughs> Big facts, man. All right, man. So what's your biggest accomplishment so far, bro? I'd, I'd, only, I'd only 18 years old. What's the thing? Like, not even a song, just like... Being in the music industry, deals, what's the biggest you know what thing? I'm like one of the first niggas from my city. Yeah. Getting off a major record label deal. You know what I'm Declining. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I ain't finna sell my soul for no fame and no hundred racks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas selling their soul for 10, 20 racks getting pimped out. It ain't gonna be Gucci. You know what, what throws you off about about those deals when they when because you Because it throws me off. It's like, okay. You want fifty percent of my masters, you know what I'm saying, and this and that. You give me a hundred k or whatever, but in the future, you know what I'm saying. Can I come to you? Oh, can I get my masters? This and that. I'm not gonna be going through that, having to go negotiate, renegotiate deals. I'm gonna get this if I like it. Now nah, I have, I have my lawyer look over everything, so it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying I ain't one of these puppets out here getting pimped out. Yeah, just you know, put it like that. Fact. Niggas ain't know you was that cerebral, man. I want people to hear this interview and like, I feel like you don't get asked this uh, certain. Cause yeah, I be watching, you know, I be watching your interviews and, and they, shit, yeah, they, oh yeah, you your charges and, and guns, yeah, drugs. You sold drugs, yeah. You love money. You trying to get out the hood, this and that. But you know what I'm saying, getting my mental a little bit. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm real impressed with your thought process, how you think about things, bro. I'm thinking like, who put you on game about that? Like, how'd you get? You know, you are, like you say, you are OG in the mu- making music. You might want to say that. Y'all see who next to me, man, and y'all see who in the background. Yeah. And y'all know who I run with. Niggas that know Gucci or know of me know who I run with and know who around me. You know why I think like that. Yeah. I'm saying. It ain't a secret. That's all. How, how, was, how, was, how was school when you was going to school? Like, how was that? Like, did you graduate and stuff like that? I ain't graduated. You know what I'm saying? I dropped that maybe ninth, tenth grade. I was like, I always tried to go to, I was never a stupid ass nigga, but I just always knew school ain't what I wanted to do. I told you, man, I've been rapping since I was 12. So when I was going to school, this and that, my music was already going dumb in the city, so it's like, do I really want to go to school? Yeah, be a doctor, this and that. Or do I want to go do $100,000 shows, $50,000 shows, get a man all that advance, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Talk with the legends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like, when I was in school, man, I was in the streets with it, so I would go ham. So, like, school was never, like, really an option for me. You wasn't really in class like that? Really. Nah, man. <laughs> I feel that. I, I don't, I personally don't, I hear a lot of people say school not for everybody and stuff like that, but I think school teaches people to work for it's, other it's, people, man. It's how you, it's, look, everybody got different perspectives on everything. One person could could have went to school, had a good experience. One person could have went to school, had a bad experience. Yeah. You talk to that person with the good experience, oh, man, go to school. Finish school. It's going to get you there. It's going to do this, do that. Person that had the bad experience, man. Fuck school, man. I went to school, man. That shit ain't nothing. You don't have to go to school to be somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's just how you see it. You know Fifth, it's that simple. You know what I'm saying? How you see it. You know what I'm saying? Me, I know school never worked for me. It could have worked, but you know what I'm saying? it wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something else. You see what I'm saying? I wanted to be a boss. You see what I'm saying? I didn't want to work for the Palm Beach County School District. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me, I wanted to be Mr. Patson Ranch. 
Big Gucci, CL. It's that simple. And you went from that where you did you go right into being involved with the streets or involved with music? I was involved with both. You know what I'm saying? But the streets is like you go outside, that's what you see. Yeah, you, you don't walk outside that, yeah. your house and you see a motherfucking big ass studio. You know, it's not in New York. You walk outside a hundred Atlantic records, everything outside, no. Go outside, see a hundred niggas with they bomb, big ass thirty on the hip, yeah. smoking a zigzag or backwood or whatever. Yeah. All right, go, man. How long did it take for you to like to gain popularity with the music thing once you got into it? My first song I ever dropped, no music on YouTube, when I was 12, 13. Did a thousand views, 24 hours. So it's like, I've been had a little buzz coming from where I come from. Niggas don't do that where I come from. So it's like, yeah. I'm taking over. Then when I started growing up, doing this, going on the road, seeing this, seeing that, I, like, I had connections in the game. You know what I'm saying? Seeing this, doing shows and shit. So it's like... I seen all of that. And niggas not doing that where I'm from, so it's like, I'm 13, 14, but I'm ahead of you niggas a little bit, so, you know what I'm saying? Get on track, get on pace, you know what I'm saying? Get on my little movement, you know what I'm saying? Get on what I'm doing, because I'm going, you know what I'm saying? And when you see me turn 15, don't say cheese. Yeah. 100,000, niggas not doing that, you know what I'm saying? Even the niggas where I'm from, you niggas pay for say cheese, niggas getting 20K. They reach out to you on that end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about Say Cheese? Oh, in general, like the, this, like these blogs, how you... Yeah, they... You know, the nah, nah, nah. I reach out to them as in pay, and then they see it going up. They want to be a part of the movement. It's just how it go, man. You know what I'm saying? If you going hard enough, a nigga going to want to be a part, part of, of your movement. movement. You young niggas listen. You know what I'm saying? Start getting pimped out and tricked. Simple. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. This is this is kind of like this is almost a I want to say it's a guarantee because you're gonna work anyways. Like the way I what I get from you is like you you just locked into what you doing. You label, do you, yeah. No label, I'm gonna work. You gonna work, yeah. Shows, no shows, I'm gonna work. You know I'm, I'm gonna take myself to the studio if I ain't got my manager. You know what I'm saying? My OGs around to take me. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna work regardless. You know what I'm saying? So I say, in terms of success, what excite what excite you about like about the music you put out? Cause you ain't, I don't see you getting too overjoyous about hitting a hundred and forty. You know what I'm saying? Hitting a mill. I'm happy where, about where it. Is, but what gets you like going really though? What is a hundred and forty k? You know what I'm saying? When niggas getting a billion views. No facts. You know what I'm saying? Like know your worth out here. Yeah. A million views is cool, but this nigga's getting one billion. Yeah, yeah. Think about it, bro. You the dirty you think about it. If you a dirty ass nigga on the block, dirty shoes, dirty clothes. See the nigga with the Balenciaga, big ass chain, gold teeth, diamond teeth, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You wanna be the nigga with the Balenciaga, gold teeth, diamond teeth, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So if you the nigga with the million views and you see this nigga. As an example, Lil Pump getting one billion. You want to be the nigga with one billion views. You want to be the nigga up there. You don't want to be the nigga on the low part of the totem pole. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it go, man. That's how life goes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you at, you see what I'm saying? You could be born rich. You still want to be what Bill Gates said. You was born with a million. You want to have six million, two million. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? You want to live to a higher standard when you're born, bro. It's that simple. Everybody's like that. I don't care who you is. You know what I'm saying? I see, on, on that note, I see you. I don't see you too flashy with the jewelry. Like, oh, like nah, you, I, I got I know jewelry. You, I, I know that's what I'm saying. Like you, you know what I'm saying? I got my, you know, my goal is going to come out. So, you know what I'm saying? I, got, I walk around with that. But, like, when you where I'm from, bro. I go wear my jury, whatever, hop out the, at the store. And I had to get on beat, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas looking at you, bro. You got jury, niggas don't got that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. don't got jury, so you just watch out. It's, it's that simple. It's envy. It's a lot of envy, a lot of hate, man. It come with that. You know what I'm saying? 
Whatever you doing, bro, it come with that. Just know what it come with when you doing some shit, man. Mm-hmm. It's that simple, bro. It's like... Just well, yeah, what you got going on next, man? You know what I'm saying? I know you got that, going t- them, you got that tape you out up right now. You don't let nobody know. You know what I'm saying? Rest of 2021, we going stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a zoovy. Every set we pop out. You know what I'm saying? Just know 80 out that DJ. You know what I'm saying? The promoter, whatever. We coming hard, Pats and Rats, man. Yeah, 1G shit. We going stupid. It's going to be a zoovy on every scene, I promise. What about music? What we got from music? We rocking out with that tape right now? Yeah. Or, or how long? We rocking out with the tape for about a good next four months. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The tape down there almost done. Matter of fact, I can drop a tape if I want. I got stupid songs in the vault, but it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure y'all fuck with it, man. You know what I'm saying? I see the pressure you coming you coming with, man. Uh, How about features? Like, you got anybody, any crazy features on, on, these, uh, on the vault, too? I don't know. You don't want to? And I ain't going to say the features I do. The features I do, that's niggas I fuck with, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, like, with huge rappers, I ain't even on no feature tip. Like, niggas that want 10K, man, you niggas know where y'all can put that 10K, man. I feel. Yeah. Straight like that, man. It's <laughs> like, show that 10K somewhere, man. You cannot find it. You heard me? Because Gucci ain't paying you 10 racks. Hell no, uh, I don't think. Bro, I don't think you should be paying anybody in the city. And I ain't finna ride dick for no features. I already told you. At least not in. I, I, well, I don't. Well, no, it don't matter. Even in Palm Beach, even if a nigga want to take it, I do features with some niggas up here. Yeah, but that's not on no music shit though. That's like on some on some uh, love shit. On some love shit, I fuck with your music. I yeah. fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do songs with you. But nah, man, I ain't on no rapper shit doing features with niggas, man. I want to speak to like okay, let's speak to the to the culture real quick, cause you a Zoe, you know we still love Zoe's in here. I'm Haitian, you know what I'm saying? We we, you know we from we from that side, and it's like a good thing you told me that I ain't even know. No, yeah, I said, man, I said, I said seven months though, but you know that's that's the wave though for Florida. You should you shouldn't be surprised. Not even the wave for Florida is the wave, wave for, for America, right? America, now. yeah, and Zoe's the music taking team, over, real. man. You hear me? Like, yeah, man. You so know what I'm saying? my mom and my daddy Haitian, man, from across the yeah. Yeah. So you know me. You know what I'm saying? First generation American. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you call it, well, man. Yeah. I don't even know what <laughs> right. I don't even see myself. You know what I'm saying? My people come from Haiti. You go in my house. Yeah. Yeah. So I affect yeah, everything. It's like we so so the, the real the zo like Ziggy every day. Every they day you know, there's nothing else. <laughs> every day. No, what you just got done eating? Oh, got that on. You said (laughs) that. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that's culture, man. If you know, you know. Way of life, man. Z way is the way of life. Yeah. Niggas get in tune and get love. They gonna know. That's simple, man. They gonna know if they don't know. But that's I'm I'm so impressed, bro. With like just just. How many Zoes is doing their thing, bro? Like all across. Nigga, ever. even American nigga, yeah. come out on the block. I'm, I'm, Z, I'm everything. You see what I'm saying? They want to be that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They want to be that. They want to be a part of what the Zoes got going on. Is that simple? You know what I'm saying? Your bitch, she want to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? She <laughs> Zoe by penetration. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. They want to be a part of the squad, the gang, it's whatever. Yeah, hey. get in tune, man, to get love. She tapped in by penetration, man. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. That's wild, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Z world, man. Fact. And I'm happy. I'm happy to see it. So I don't know, you man. Know you know, we've been getting shitted on. Oh yeah. For a hot minute, huh? You niggas know, man. You niggas that's not Haitian. You niggas know what y'all used to do in school, man, to the OGs. OGs. Oh, niggas be hating. It's that simple. Jump. Now you niggas riding dick, man. 
You know what I'm saying? It's simple. Talking crazy. I ain't gonna speak on it though. But not everybody is though, though. So it's cool. <laughs> That's a fact. That's it. That's it. Hey, I think that I think that's a statement that that started it all when they started fucking with us, bro. Damn that shit! The niggas, behind, the people behind that song, seven years. Yeah, right. and they shit. Then you had to get right around the OG oh, that started that so shit, no shit, man. Shit. Yeah. Better that get it right, man. You know what I'm saying? Song, I ain't even gonna that's tell you niggas man. what the OG what man. You niggas know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You niggas know, man. Y'all see little gooch, man. Put your head down. Simple, For real. Hand out. Man, or or put your hand out. <laughs> no, listen. You saying put your hand out? Put your, put hand. your head down. Put your head put down, your head down yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> need <laughs> look a nigga in the eye. You know what I'm saying? Hey, haters should be ashamed, man. Uh, I'm around the OGs that originated that man. Zo shit, no whole shit. Yeah. Get right. It went so far, and niggas, they know. Niggas done yeah. forgot though. Yeah. They forget. They just. They forgot. They they playing. They they playing. The same <laughs> thing. They <laughs> forgot. They just want to go like, oh, You know. He said, you know, time of day. Yeah, that shit. I th- I really think that's what started it for us though. That way for real. I'm glad you brought it up because I I was hearing. People who wasn't Zoe saying that, like, no oh shit, no oh shit. No. Your favorite rapper. You got a your favorite rapper saying it. Yeah, man, I don't want to keep y'all boys too long. Let's let's go ahead and wrap the interview up, bro. Hey man, we appreciate you, man. Bro, it's love. This is like I said, this is a big honor, man. I got I truly believe you you gonna be, bro, you you gonna be on that status, bro. Kodak, Gucci Black, you know, hot boy. You know, that's Florida, bro. Fast. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but you know that. You already know that. But you know this Zo shit legendary, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know Kodak, then. You know what I'm saying? That nigga that did it for them Zoes in Florida, period. Right. But you know this time is legendary, man. You heard me? Yeah. Bro got to know how to stay out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Me, I already done got wise. Crackers ain't finna get me. I ain't finna need no pardon. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. Shit finna be legendary when I come up. Real shit. That's real as fuck. Yeah. It's just fast, man. I'm glad you said that, bro. Because when you was talking about how you went in and out of jail, bro, you know, that's the first person yeah, come to, gonna have to see me come to mind is Kodak. Kodak you know? gonna have to see me, man. On yeah. like, I'm on some different type of time right now. Like, I want people catch to... me in the wind. Yeah. You me? yeah. Real shit. I want people to know that's cool. Like, it's cool to not be in jail all the time. And I'm not saying, like, hey, niggas you ain't in there by choice. You ain't in there by choice. You feel me? I but, didn't go in. I didn't ask, okay, put these handcuffs on, on me. Let me up. go do three months. Put me on house stress for four months. No. Because I'm trying my hardest. The cracker don't even look at me. Bitch. Yeah. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I ain't asked for this shit, man. I was born into this life. Yeah. I was born on first lane in Boynton Beach. I was born into that life, man. I ain't asked to have no dad. You know what I'm saying? I ain't asked to grow up on the block. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't asked for none of that shit, man. I just was born into that life, so that's what came with it. You know what I'm saying? I learned from it all, though, man. I told you, man. I ain't got wise. Nigga, 18, but I act like I'm 35. You hear me? shit. He was born a problem. You hear me? Boy, was born a problem. That's, that's just real. facts. Uh, about the real shit I heard all year, but for real, real shit, yeah. I'm gonna end it like that. I don't really want to ask you no more questions. That's say it all, bro. Say less. That's say it all, bro. You gonna rock? I'm wait. I'm re- I'm waiting. On, I'm waiting on your come up, bro. It's gonna be your year for sure, especially. Is that one G that Pat's and rat shit, man? It's coming, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That Z shit, man. Going dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be zum this year. I'm telling you, niggas, watch out. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna. Run you niggas over. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? Stay out the field. When Gucci coming through, you niggas getting ran over this year. That one G, that Pats and Rat shit, that Zo shit is coming. You know what I'm saying? Just know it's that simple. You gonna rock out just like that. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.